we're going to, I'm doing an anthology and you've got 10 pages so you can write 10 poems for it. And it just, I got the email just at the point where I'd, I'd given up on everything in my life. I just got to this point with Slambassadors where I felt I'd just given everything I could to the point where I was erased myself. And that I was no longer a good mentor or a good coach because I was not telling the truth about my life. So I sat down and I just started to write a poem. And it turned into a very long <coughs> poem, you get me, called, which is now called Songs My Enemy Taught Me. And in this book it's called something else, like Sheila or something like that. <laughs> um, and what happened to me was like, I grew up um, in the northwest, various places around the northwest of England. At the age of five, my mum lost her job, my dad lost his job, and we were taken out of our home and put up in a B&B &B in Blackpool. Bleak. And it was Christmas time, so I remember like, yeah, I remember how dark everything it was outside in the sea. We were in this big B&B &B and there was just um, me there, my mum, my dad, the landlords and three soldiers. And it was Christmas Eve, we were dancing around, my dad was picking me up and dancing around the ballroom and then tucked me into bed that night and then the soldiers came calling and they raped me. So this whole piece of it, oh by the way, trigger warning. Um, but if you do feel the trigger, that probably means you've got the gun, yeah? So you're powerful, remember that in this. So I'm going to read a little bit from it. This long, it's a long sequence which is called a canto, but I'm just going to do nine bits. Um, I'm writing this poem, has changed my life completely. I've just returned at the beginning of the week from a tour of Australia, Singapore and Thailand, Europe, five tours of the UK, so thank you, Carmina. One. Silence was a song my enemy taught me. Two. The bed is cold, and my teeth are abandoned buildings, and somewhere there is the smell of something burning, a book, a flag, a letter. In my room at the top of the seaside hotel, there is a single bed with a white sheet. I cannot think of anything to write on it. The bed is a slowly developing photograph. Here's us around the dinner table. We are smiling like carved meat. No one notices that the daughter is eating herself. Here's you walking home from school. Your shadow walks behind you as if ashamed. Even the trees whisper about you. You have embarrassed the wind. And here's him, and him, and him. A family portrait, successful, double folding their uniforms and ironing their smiles, catching children delivered from the conveyor belt of their wives' wombs and holding them up to the bare light bulb to bless. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. They are boys. And here are the stairs, and here the long corridor. You are afraid to walk along. Perhaps it is your three. My womb is a war zone after everything has taken, after the soldiers have left, spitting into the palms of their hands, after the shelves have been emptied and only sell nothing after the nothing gathers in great mountains at the sides of the streets after the streets are running with hungry ghosts after women's skins are slung from washing lines after children write their names in the dust that once were their fathers. I carry the war in my womb. Perhaps this is what happened. Someone said my hymen was a door behind which rebels were making plans and they kicked it in, paced the room and filled their pockets with valuables. My mother's wedding ring, my first tooth, a bright blue hair bubble, your address, this. They wanted to know where I was hidden. I am the corner of the room. I am a crime scene, an oil-rich country, and will be divided equally between nations. 
four, 12 years old. There are small bodies washed up on the shores of my eyes when my photograph is taken, another girl's face appears instead of mine. Five, there are men seated quietly at municipal formica desks at the neck of my womb. You do not look like your face, they say. Please state the purpose of your visit. Did you pack these bags yourself? My sandbag hips, my barbed wire hill. Many will die defending it. Others will drown in the sediment of a trench whose walls are always caving in. My cunt is a bomb crater the villagers gather around the edges of and peer into. Sometimes smoke rises from deep within. These are my ghosts. These are messages in a lost language. Capture them in jars. Display them on suburban mantelpieces, in memes, on t-shirts. Smile, be my hashtag, friendly enemy. There are women crucified on hashtags all over these hills. Six, when you're impregnated by war, you give birth to bullets. Name them, show them his scent. The palm of my small right hand is a priest map to safety. I am stopped at the border. I cannot remember my name in your language. My skin is a white flag. I am waving it now. I am holding my skin above my head. Stop shooting, stop shooting, stop shouting. War is an unexploded kiss buried. The battleground is the bedroom in which two people stand in opposing trenches behind sandbag pillows saying, I love you. Wrong. That is not how you say it. This is how you say it. My skin is partitioned. This bit is yours. Parts of my body speak different languages. After the war, I was colonized. Use my blood to power your generators. Dig deep in me for your gemstones. Harvest my hair and eyelashes. These drips of words on my chin. And you, you I give my womb to. Feed it well. Walk it when needed. Listen at night to its curling song. Seven. The girl whose eyes are shallow graves beneath suburban patios, goes to school and rows of heavy, wooden, lidded desks are filled with the smiling dead. When the world ended, nobody noticed. The sun has eaten itself. Skeleton birds mutter bone songs. Her mother and father tell jokes about her. Everybody laughs. The girl whose eyes are foxholes laughs. The teacher laughs. Children gathered like litter around the stairwell laughs. The social worker laughs. The policeman laughs. The doctor laughs. The psychiatrist giggles. The world ends. It. I remember how silence was a choir. There's you in the kitchen, vibrato. There's you at the back of the class, soprano. There's you walking home, tenor. Your solo silences are everywhere. Nine, for Christmas, I give my mother an uncomfortable truth. She wears it when I visit. Thank you.